I don't drink at all. I haven't drunk for, for a long time. Uh, a couple of reasons I don't drink. Uh, first reason, kept shitting myself. So <laughs> that's a sign to stop, isn't it? <laughs> Waking up covered in shit. Praying it's yours. The, uh, <laughs> how'd you tell? <laughs> uh, but no, I, I'm not sure if you're aware or not. Drinking's not very good for you. I, um, I like to stay healthy. I like to stay in shape. Some of you might have noticed. I, uh, that was a joke. Uh, I, I was sat there going, he's a cocky fucker he is. <laughs> But I do, I like, to, I like to stay fit. My two favorite ways to stay fit and healthy are to lift weights and to grapple. They're my two favorite things to do. I like to lift heavy weights and grapple. And my wife says that's because I've got something called latent homosexuality. <laughs> mm. Apparently, the reason I like to go to the gym and lift weights with men and then go to a club where I grapple with them and pin them to the floor so that they can't move is because I secretly want to fuck them. <laughs> that's my wife's big theory. Now, that's not why I do it, and comedy audiences tend to be very progressive, so I apologize if this, up, this upsets any of your sensibilities. I don't like that kind of thing. I don't think it makes me homophobic. I don't like thinking about that kind of thing. I don't like thinking about John. John's my favorite guy to grapple with. <laughs> I don't like thinking about John walking over to me, pushing me against the wall, kissing me, feeling every inch of my chest, running his finger slowly down my body, and then grabbing my erection. It's fucking disgusting. I, I don't like thinking about it at all. I don't like thinking about John falling to his knees He's got beautiful blue eyes. He, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the Pacific Ocean, but it has no memory. And he does, he does this thing with his finger and his thumb where he sort of gets saliva around that bit and he sort of runs it down the shaft while he keeps the tip of the cock in his mouth. And he doesn't break eye contact. He's like, mm, 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 like that. And it feels like he's deep throating me, uh, but he's not. It's like a trick of the hand. And... And I hate it because it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> so I'm just like, get off me, you fucking dirty little puff. Like, it's fucking, it's horrible. Then he stands up, turns around and bends over. Now, John is a big guy. He does deadlifts and stuff. And he thinks he's a bodybuilder, goes on the sunbed. And he tans, but he can't tan that bit in the middle of his bum cheeks because that's, because it's a vertical sunbed. So you can't tan, like, so he stood up and his cheeks are tanned. And he'd have to separate them to sort of... <laughs> get that bit so that's like a white landing strip and I just want to get over and done with it at this point because it's fucking wrong so I'm like just sort of need to, and I just start fucking hammering him like that and, and I don't, sometimes I tell him how much I hate it while I'm doing it like I'll go you fucking disgust me you disgust me and then I fire a hot hate filled load of cum into his arse <clears throat> so, yeah, not really my cup of tea, to be honest with you. <laughs> just... It's not something to think about. I do, I do sometimes wish I was gay. I think it'd be a bit easier. Maybe not gay, maybe just a heterosexual woman. I think that'd be good. Because women don't realise how much power they've got. Like, you've got a lot of power, you just don't use it correctly. Like, you've used it in the past. Like, women have gone on sex strike to stop wars. I don't know if you're aware of that. Women have withdrawn sex until the men sort their shit out. But that's where, your pow that's where you get tricked into thinking your power is. You think it's all about sex. You know, it's not. There was a story last year. You might have missed it, right? What happened was there was a paedophile, and the police couldn't convict him. So a group of women got together, and they got all the evidence necessary to prosecute him. They took it to the Crown Prosecution, uh, Prosecution Service, and then they decided to prosecute. It went to trial, and on the day of the trial, he just said, I'm guilty, right? And they won. And then it came to sentencing. On the day of sentencing, uh, the, all the women turned up outside the court, and they had banners and they were there, and they were protesting, they were saying, rot in hell, justice at last, you deserve to die. Big banners, it was amazing. The most amazing thing about the story is that the women had brought their children with them. So they'd brought their children to protest a paedophile. 
And that's where women will always fall down. You just can't resist an opportunity to cock tease. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it was a fucking Wednesday. They pulled them out of school. Malcolm, show him your bum! <laughs> 